Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Team Downriver Run mission in Arc Genesis no Part 2. The Team Downriver Run mission in Arc Genesis Part 2 is one of the easier ones to understand. In it, you're going to take you and up to two of your friends on a white water canoeing run down a river, and you need to do it in a certain amount of time, and you need to make sure that your canoe ends up in one piece at the end. In order to get to the mission, you're going to go to the mission kiosks located throughout the map, and you're going to select Team Down River Run. It's available in either Gamma, Beta, or Alpha difficulties. The, the difficulties will affect here. two different things, the amount of time required and the amount of damage that the canoe will take. At Gamma difficulty, the amount of time you have is 21 minutes, which is an absolute absurd amount of time. And it is important to note that you can do this solo. And as a matter of fact, I find it much easier solo. While you're going on these runs, you will encounter these yellow rings, and as you can imagine, they're boosters that will make you move faster for two and a half seconds in the direction that you are pointing the canoe. And that's actually really important. It's not boosting the way the booster is pointed, but the direction that the canoe is pointed. And that can really get you into trouble because, of course, you're going to want to avoid taking damage in your canoe by striking any rocks or the shore. And you can see in Gamma difficulty, you don't take a whole lot of damage. You can really bang this thing around and you'll be just fine. But as you can see, I'm going to approach a booster. I'm going to point the boat, and you can see my boat goes in the direction that the boat was pointing, not the direction necessarily exactly that the booster is pointing. So again, I'm going to spin it around. I don't do a good job spinning it around here, and you can see it boosts me right into the shore, and I really have to try to save it. But even then, it only took me 7 minutes and 30 seconds of the possible 21 minutes needed to complete the Gamma difficulty. At Beta difficulty, they drop the time down to 14 minutes, and the damage taken does increase. But honestly, that's the only major difference. I mean, again, you still have about twice as much time as you need, and uh, again, it's not not that hard to avoid taking damage, but when you do take damage, you will notice it is substantially more oh, at weird. beta difficulty. But even with the additional damage, beta difficulty also was no trouble at all. I was able to complete it in just a little longer, 7 minutes and 45 seconds, as opposed to gamma, which was a little bit faster. Alpha difficulty is where things get a little bit more interesting. The amount of time required is still luxurious at a solid 10 minutes. But the problem now is you can't touch anything. If you rub up against the rock the wrong way, your health will go down substantially. So here I'll show you. I just grazed this wall and my health goes down by half. And uh, I graze up against another rock and that's it. That was the entire run. I had full health and then in two slight grazings of the rock, I was kicked out of the mission because my canoe was destroyed. What I'm going to do now is I will show you my solo alpha run, and I'm not going to show it at regular speed because these runs are really, really slow, and I don't want to waste anybody's time. But I want to under you to understand that the main thing you need to focus on is avoiding taking damage. At an alpha difficulty, you can get hit about twice before your boat will break. And another main thing to do is avoid the boosters, weirdly enough, because the boosters will usually cause you more trouble than they are worth because they will shoot you at rocks if you're not careful. And a couple of points in this run, it nearly cost me. The run itself is fairly easy for the first half, but once you get past those waterfalls, things get more technical. The current moves a lot faster, and at this point, I actually stop uh, pushing forward a lot and just focus more on turning and making sure to avoid rocks. And uh, that's the only thing that'll really get you through is just be technical, take your time. You have tons of time. It gives you 10 minutes, and my slowest run, which is this run, I still manage to get done in under 9 minutes. So... Honestly, as long as you focus on not hitting rocks, you'll get it done without much difficulty. For completing the River Run missions, you will be awarded with some hexagons and some random loot, but uniquely to them, you will also be awarded with different canoe costumes. The Alpha difficulty will reward you with a Tech canoe costume, the Beta difficulty will reward you with a Viking canoe costume, and the Gamma difficulty will reward you with a Modern canoe costume. And they're pretty sharp looking. Here I am with my kids, and uh, I like it. So we got Alex in the modern one, we got Penny in the tech, and I'm sitting here in the Viking one, and uh, they look nice. They look pretty good. 
Now, while I have my kids here, of course, there's a little bit more testing we can do with the mission, and that is, what does having two other people in the canoe do for you? Now, mind you, my testing might be a little biased, since the two other people I have are my my children, but I'm sure it'll go fine. I'm sure it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to go to Gamma Difficulty with my kids, and uh, the first thing you'll notice is that piloting becomes... Uh, becomes a bit of an issue, becomes a little, it's a little challenging, but if everybody is pointing in the same direction and pushing, pushing forward at the same time, you will go very, very fast, much, much faster than you do if you're doing this on your own. Interestingly enough, this is a race, and you actually do have a position in the race, and I'm at the front of the boat, and I was in first position, but here we're turning around and getting locked up on a rock, but that's neither here nor there. But now that I'm at the uh, back of the pack, I'm in third position, so weirdly, there is race positions in this even then. Now, I'm not going to say this was a clean run, and we might have gotten into a bunch of arguments doing it, but... Once all was said and done, we were able to knock out a time of 5 minutes and 45 seconds. And we were pretty proud of that, because honestly, we shaved almost two full minutes off of the solo time. Once you're done, you will be able to each get your own canoe skin, you will each get your own hexagons, and your own individual random rewards. So go ahead and try the River Run mission for yourself. What missions should we cover next? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there!